Watts Songs Against Faults by Isaac Watts. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Against Lying. Oh, tis a lovely thing for youth to walk betimes in wisdom's way, to fear a lie, to speak the truth that we may trust to all they say. But liars we can never trust though they should speak the thing that's true and he that does one fault at first and lies to hide it makes it too have we not known nor heard nor read how god abhors deceit and wrong how ananias was struck dead caught with a lie upon his tongue so did his wife sapphira die when she came in and grew so bold as to confirm that wicked lie which just before her husband told the lord delights in them that speak the words of truth but every liar must have his portion in the lake that burns with brimstone and with fire then let me always watch my lips lest i be struck to death and hell since god a book of reckoning keeps for every lie that children tell end of poem this recording is in the public domain love between brothers and sisters by isaac watts read for LibriVox.org. whatever brawls disturb the street there should be peace at home where sisters dwell and brothers meet quarrel should never come birds in their little nests agree and tis a shameful sight when children of one family fall out and chide and fight hard names at first and threatening words that are but noisy breath may grow to clubs and naked swords to murder and to death the devil tempts one mother's son to rage against another so wicked cain was hurried on till he had killed his brother the wise will let their anger cool at least before tis night but in the bosom of a fool it burns till morning light pardon o lord our childish rage our little brawls remove that as we grow to riper age our hearts may all be love end of poem this recording is in the public domain against idleness and mischief by isaac watts read for LibriVox.org. how doth the little busy bee improve each shining hour and gather honey all the day from every opening flower how skilfully she builds her cell how neat she spreads the wax and labors hard to store it well with the sweet food she makes in works of labor or of skill i would be busy too for satan finds some mischief still for idle hands to do in books or work or healthful play let my first years be past that i may give for every day some good account at last End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Solemn Thoughts on God and Death by Isaac Watts. Read for LibriVox.org. There is a God that reigns above, Lord of the heavens and earth and seas. I fear his wrath. I ask his love, and with my lips 
I sing his praise. There is a law which he has writ to teach us all what we must do. My soul to his commands submit, for they are holy, just, and true. There is a gospel of rich grace whence sinners all their comforts draw. Lord, I repent and seek thy face, for I have often broke thy law. There is an hour when I must die, nor do I know how soon twill come. A thousand children, young as I, are called by death to hear their doom. Let me improve the hours I have before the day of grace is fled. There's no repentance in the grave, no pardon offered to the dead. Just as a tree cut down that fell to north or southward, there it lies. So man departs to heaven or hell, fixed in the state wherein he dies. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Summer's Evening by Isaac Watts. Read for LibriVox.org. How fine has the day been! How bright was the sun! How lovely and joyful the course that he run! Though he rose in a mist when his race he begun, and there followed some droppings of rain. But now the fair travellers come to the west, his rays are all gold, and his beauties are best. He paints the skies gay as he sinks to his rest, and foretells a bright rising again. Just such is the Christian, his course he begins, like the sun in a mist, while he mourns for his sins, and melts into tears, then he breaks out and shines and travels his heavenly way. But when he comes nearer to finish his race, like a fine setting sun he looks richer in grace, and gives a sure hope at the end of his days of rising in brighter array. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Against Quarreling and Fighting by Isaac Watts Read for LibriVox.org Let dogs delight to bark and bite, for God hath made them so. Let bears and lions growl and fight, for tis their nature, too. But children, you should never let such angry passions rise. Your little hands were never made to tear each other's eyes. Let love through all your actions run, and all your words be mild. Live like the blessed virgin son, that sweet and lovely child. His soul was gentle as a lamb, and as his stature grew, he grew in favor both with man and God his Father, too. Now, Lord of all, he reigns above, and from his heavenly throne he sees what children dwell in love and makes them for his own. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Our Saviour's Golden Rule by Isaac Watts Read for LibriVox.org Be you to others kind and true As you'd have others be to you And neither do nor say to men Whate'er you would not take again End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.
duty to god and our neighbor by isaac watts read for LibriVox.org. love god with all your soul and strength with all your heart and mind and love your neighbor as yourself be faithful just and kind deal with another as you'd have another deal with you what you're unwilling to receive be sure you never do end of poem this recording is in the public domain end of watts songs against faults by isaac watts